I have a list. I'm prepared. You're on the naughty one. Oh. Thank you, give me the color the way it's supposed to be. Use it out of the tube. Mm. The end of the year review. 2020. Bone Care Studios. Welcome. Hi. It's been 12 months since the start of the year, obviously. So we're gonna start in January. What the hell are we doing in January? Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we do. It started with an opening at the art museum, the Carmelo Blandino. So we're planning on going there Friday night after school to help, was it to set up the show? Yeah, yep. And I had the flu. <laughs> I felt like crap. <laughs> but we set up the show till what, like 10.30 at night? And then I came home and immediately puked. <laughs> I don't know if I need to say that. I was sick, everybody. And then Saturday showed up and we had to shoot some senior photos of one of my students, Baco. And of course, when you're sick, with the flu, you want to walk around the woods and take photos. I was, I could be sick after that. So then I took Saturday afternoon off and I just had like five saltine crackers and called it good. It was pretty sad. It was. That wasn't the, the way you do a diet, man. No, that's not a very good diet. It works, but. And in January, we had episode 23 of our YouTube channel. Now we're at episode 114. We did a lot of YouTube and stuff. I don't know how many people saw it, but we did it. I don't need to say that either. All I hear in the back is... <laughs> well, it's like... Please, sir, may I have some more? I'd like some more gruel. Uh. Uh, in January, that's when you actually started your autumn painting, too. So Kara has a painting. It's of one of her girls, Autumn. She started it in January. She finished it this year, and it's been in three galleries so far which is pretty freaking cool. Everybody seems to like that one. January, we also did the Painting and Music by Hummer and, I'll put his name here. Uh, I see his face. Oh yeah, I can see his face too, but hmm. the people watching this can't see inside our brains. And as he was painting, there was a pianist who would play according to what he was painting. So they were kind of... They were playing off each other. Yeah, it was neat. We got to take photos and video of it, and we had front row passes because we were we the roadies. We could walk wherever the we wanted. We were the roadies. So that's something fun we did in January. That was February. Nit pink, nit pink. I could be wrong on that one because then it was March and everything went to hell. I see your face. January, February-ish. And in February, we also did kind of our first little art fair. It was an inside art fair. It was at the Banbury over in Eau Claire. And we were just expecting to show stuff. And I actually sold a couple of tables and Kara got a commission piece off of it. So for our first art fair, it went really successful. And we got a better idea of how much prep work there is. Just driving everything over, hoping nobody's going to steal it when you're not there because it's you know locked up at night supposedly setting up your tent right next to somebody else it's fun she enjoyed the, heck out of that. the heck she enjoyed the heck out of it I am not very I'm not very good at speaking with people yet you don't say can you tell <laughs> I can uh, in February we also did our stairs going up to this art loft we did lots of epoxy on there I don't suggest it. And that's when you also started the Emily painting in February too. That's the one over this shoulder. She's right here. Almost done. Additional information. We submitted some of Kara's paintings to a miniature show where the paintings had to be pretty small. I mean, less than 81 square inches. So that's about an eight by eight painting. And Kara submitted two paintings. They both got in and one actually sold. So one of the weird parts is in somebody's house, there's a painting of me and our cat. That's pretty rad. Which is yeah, weird. Because <laughs> it's a handsome man. And you know how hard it was to do you and Butters shrunken down to five by five inches? Yeah, it was a small painting. It was five by five I inches. I had to restart it three times. I mean, this is three feet. So that's first two months. Everybody knows what happened in the third month. 
but right before all the poop hit the fan, we went to Stout to see Ola Kara's art students in college because they are the new generation of the artists. And we had a nice time with them before the world closed down. Then when we went to school on Monday, we found out, oh hey, there is no more school. You're gonna be online starting tomorrow. Get all your stuff together, figure it out. And that's when Karen and I actually pooped our pants in school for the first time ever. Figuratively. Figuratively, <laughs> not. Again, TMI. People don't need to know that. Well, I don't think we'd actually tell people if we pooped our pants, Kara. Kind of that's quite crazy. the visual. But we had less than 24 hours to figure out how to teach everything online. And when you are hands-on teachers, that gets a little hard. That sucks. But on the bright side, we figured it out. We did a lot of YouTube video tutorials for our students. So that's why if you look back in March, you'll notice that our YouTube format changed a little bit. We did about 45 videos for our students that were related to what we were teaching at the time. Oh, and in March, March, that's also when you started the painting you're currently finishing. Hopper. Hopper number two. Hoppa. number two. Well. April, we got to help out our buddy which is actually a lady you used to babysit, Brianna. Yes. She wanted to remodel part of her house, so we helped her with that. Thought it'd be an easy job. It's, it's never an easy job. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, I'll sand the floors, it'll take two hours. Uh, it was like eight hours of sanding. In May, we decided to make a little whirly gig for Mother's Day. Oh my God, there it is! It's the spinny thing! It's not so much a wind spinner as it is a wind turner because, well, it looks neat, but it doesn't work. Your mom liked it and it was fun to see that. It's a spinny thing. Oh my God, it's a spinny thing. And then she's like, oh no, it's a turny thing. She's so supportive though, it's funny. She's like, well, look, it turned it turned a corner of the way. <laughs> it's so brave. <laughs> <laughs> the brave little wind turner. Gale Force winds turned a corner. Yeah. Ooh, big truck. Oh, it's Optimus Prime. Oh, and April, we also found one of our favorite animes too, was the How Heavy Are the Dumbbells Can You Lift anime. Oh. <laughs> I love that anime. Anyways. <laughs> In May, we built lots of stuff. The wall easels behind me that Kara's using, we built those. We also built lots of cabinets for the garage because we have a big garage, no place to put stuff, so we made cabinets. So I did lots of organization in the garage because we were online teachers and we saved some time traveling. And once we figured out how to do online stuff after the first two months, we had some time to build. So we did. And at the end of May, we also had our first <sighs> coronavirus type wedding to do. Ooh. Yeah, that was Danny's wedding. Yep. That was a little scary at first because, you know, everybody thinks they're gonna die if they get together, which they, they didn't, everybody lived. Yeah, shooting with masks on without fogging up your camera equipment. That was a good challenge. For me, if I don't want to fog up my glasses, I just move my half inch down. I'm the naughty librarian now. You're gonna be one of those. I'm one of those guys. <laughs> and in June, when school got done, we could finally get off the internet for a while. We played up in the art loft some more. So we wanted to finish the floors up here without putting down a new floor. So we figured out how to sand and finish the OSB subfloor into a finished floor. And that turned out great, but- Not the SOB. What did I, oh. <laughs> that was me, sorry. You can't Everyone. tell those jokes to a dyslexic person. <laughs> and then we started our Art Loft bookcase. You're like right on the verge of death, dude. <laughs> so Kara designed a bookcase that started on the floor, went up to the wall and onto the ceiling. And it's currently plump. We didn't want to put a regular railing up, so Kara's like, let's make a bookcase railing that goes up the wall and on the ceiling. Up and we're, and the we're wall. like, yeah, up the wall. you're on drugs. And in June, we also officially started our TikTok thing. We try to keep it relevant at art, but sometimes they turn to silly cat ones. And... Nobody can see the great Oz, not nobody, not know how. Nimbus, what are you thinking? You see no reasons for questions. They're stupid to make and they're fun. July was a busy photo month for us. We had some family photos out on 
Brianna's farm. And that's the girl we helped with the floor. We did. She's always gorgeous. She doesn't age. No, she doesn't. What is she, 32 now? But that was a fun little photo shoot. And it was out on a farm, so we didn't have to worry about... Huge crowds of people. Yeah, no crowds of people. So it was nice. Only cows. Um, only cows. Mm-hmm. Only moo cows. We also had another wedding. It was uh, the Bethany wedding. And that was a more traditional wedding. Still a little small, but at the same time, everybody's a little on edge because of the pandemic. But like Kara says, love still blooms during a pandemic. Oh, and then at the end of July, we had a flood in Kara's mom's basement. Again. Again. So we were in that basement for about a month, fixing everything. We made a YouTube video on it, so we don't have to show a lot of clips on it, but we'll post it. We'll post it right here. August was a big scary month because, oh, I resigned from my teaching job to do the art thing full time. <laughs> Karen and I were going back and forth, back and forth. You quit. No, you quit. No, you quit. No, you quit. And then we finally figured out that I should quit. And of course, we didn't figure that out until five days before the school year officially started. I stayed on for a little bit at my school to help out the new guy until he was comfortable. Extra content. When we were trying to figure out who should quit their teaching job, whether it was Kara or myself, we did our research. We talked to a lot of professional artists. They have been established artists and are very successful in what they do to get their opinion of whether I should quit or whether Kara should quit. Besides me resigning from teaching, Kara also started her Anya paintings, which was a good success because those got into several galleries right only away. One. Yeah, only one is done, and that one got into several galleries too because it's a cool painting. Uh, that's also when Kara finished her portrait commission from when we were at the Banbury place earlier in the year. We made a YouTube video out of them. They were so fun. Oh, and I can post where that is here on this hand. Oh, we also had two photo sessions. We did uh, my nephew's senior photos. This is what Bo does for his job. This is what I do. That's where the baby is. That's where the baby is. <laughs> and a student of Kara's, Kobe. It's fun. Kobe was fun. Kobe's fun. He's a little sweetie pie. He is sweetie. September was our last month for photos, and that's all it was. It was just photos and weddings. So we did Danny's wedding part two, which was the reception. We had... Dale and Kim's wedding, which were our neighbors two miles up the road. So it didn't get too much easier than that to travel for a wedding. It's like, wow. And it was an older couple too, so that was different for us to shoot an older couple wedding. I enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. And, and the groom was part of the band. And the groom was the guitarist for the band, so that was neat. And then the biggest wedding we did this year was your cousin Angela's wedding. Yep. We weren't sure how that was going to work out because she's relation. That was one of the best weddings, she though. She was awesome. Her, her, her and Andy John. Oh, yeah, and her husband, Andy John. Yeah, when we first met him, we got him confused. They thought his name was John for a bit, so we called him Andy and John. So now we just call him Andy John. Yep. But that was a great wedding. She's the most chill bride, too. Just, yeah. what do you want to do? I don't care. She had pockets in her wedding dress. That was so cool. Call bullshit on that. I, I... <laughs> and then the last three months of the year, art business stuff. We started our Etsy account, which took forever and a day. Holy cow, if you never started an Etsy account, balls. That takes a lot of work. But we actually were semi-successful in our Etsy being a brand new store. We sold lots of Kara's pottery and I sold two cutting boards. So I'm a mild success. (laughs) I'm still teaching. Well, extra content. We both eventually are gonna resign teaching and it's not as if we hate teaching. We like teaching. We just want to teach in different areas, like teaching different workshops, teaching different avenues. So if Kara wanted to do just a painting workshop, she could just teach painting instead of teaching 14 different classes, which is what she currently teaches. And I was currently teaching 12 different classes. We can just focus on what we're really passionate about. Yeah, Kara's still teaching full-time. I'm the full-time business art guy, so hopefully this next summer we can get our stuff together when everything opens up. Biggest things this year was me resigning. Extra information. And one of the main reasons we want to both quit teaching and do the art full time, who better to work with for the rest of your life than with your best friend? We enjoy working together and being together. Granted, not 100% of the time, but pretty close to it. You're just like... (laughs) 
every once in a while. But that's the main reason for us resigning our jobs is so we can do our passion full time and work with a great coworker full time as well. We did 91 total YouTube videos this year. 45 of them were for school. Kara got into eight art galleries. I got into three. It's not a competition. You're gonna have a big anime tier. <laughs> <laughs> but next year looks super promising because the plan is Kara is supposed to resign at the end of the school year because I have a lot of pressure to get the art career going. And if anybody started an art career, you don't know how it works or what to do. There's books on it, but it doesn't pertain to you. Or how you live and have insurance. And Sob story, feel bad for me. All this adult stuff. Uh, our plan for this next year is we are starting to do our art fairs in the three different states. So Wisconsin, Illinois, and Minneapolis. We Minneapolis is in the state. We're planning to do art fairs <laughs> in three different states. <laughs> Minnesota. Minnesota. Uh, Kara's already in two galleries with her paintings for next year, and I'm in one, which is exciting because what a cool way to start off the new year, and put your stuff in galleries. And we're also gonna play with our YouTube channel a little bit. We are going to be... Uh, are you okay? Are you having a stroke? A little stroke. Oh. We're planning some new YouTube video series, like a homeowner series, because our house is our biggest art project, so we're gonna have lots of little short videos, hopefully, on how to take care of your house. Another video series we're planning on is just a video blog type series where we just take impromptu videos of us if we have an idea or if we're frustrated at something, just so other people can see that you're not alone. You're not alone. It happens to everybody. Anywho, that's it for this year and that's the new news for next year. So thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time when you come into our house like this via camera. Kara wants to come up and say goodbye. You know what? So, so you gotta say goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Okay. So goodbye everybody. Thanks for watching.